So I, I have my movie clip. I'm going to double click to go inside of that movie clip. Okay, so I'm inside, and this is a graphic symbol. And I want to add some frames, so I'm just going to hit Shift F5. Actually, I, I can just save myself the trouble. Click out here. I can hit either Shift F5 or go into Insert, Timeline, Keyframe, and it'll fill in automatically. automatically. Okay, this is a graphic symbol, so I can right-click and create Motion Tween. Okay, and I'm going to click in this first frame, and then I'm going to drag it out. And I want this to move across the screen. So I'm going to move it over here. Okay, you see how those are lining up. Okay, so I'm going to hit return. You're going to see. So it's moving across the screen. But the problem, now I need to fill it in. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to double click to go inside of this, this, um, this drawing. And I'm going to click on it. And if I hit the option key, I'll, I'll be able to copy it. So I can line that up and extend that. Oops, didn't quite get it. And I'm just using the arrow keys to nudge it down. Now I hit OK. Now let's see what we get. Now you can see I, it's a little sloppy, but I'm not going to fix that right now. But if you're working on this, you could always fix that. But you can see it's scrolling by. It's going a little slow. I think I'd like that to go a little faster than that. So I'm going to go to the movie clip where it's it's placed. And I'm going to hit Shift F. Whoops. I was this whole object was selected. I don't want that. I just want to get click here on the, the scrub scrub bar and remove some frames just to shorten that up. See, now it's a little faster. Add more frames, it'll extend the timeline and make it slower. Okay, so that's a good speed. Okay, so now I'm going to go, whoops, I'm going to go back to the desktop and from here I need some road. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I'm going to click on gray and this piece is not going to move. I could add lines to the road and do fancy things, but I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, actually, that was a mistake. I'm going to hit Command X. Hang on. Well, Command Z, undo that. I really should keep things on different layers. Um, the problem that you can have is if you're working in the um, merge drawing mode, things start to merge and and cut each other, you know, cut pieces out and you lose pieces. So it's best, especially if you're working in a merge drawing mode, to keep things on separate layers. Okay, so I'm going to call this road. Okay, enter. I'm going to hit, well, and I'm just going to draw a little gray rectangle because I was selected in my swatches, so that's how I know that's going to be that color gray. I'm going to drag it behind the, no, actually, I think I like it in front. Um, it actually gave me a, a green line around there, so I'm just going to double click because if I hit it once, I just get that one line. I hit double click and I get all the way around delete and again okay so if I'm here you can see it's this is white so I'm in merge drawing mode so when I click on that that's why this is this way and again I can always go to, to um, modify combine shapes union and then I get that little box around it and it's you know it's I don't have to worry about messing it up and I'm just gonna lock that road layer um, I'm gonna lock the hills layer too okay I'm going to hit the space bar, scroll, and to move this my drawing board down. Um, and there's this tool here called the Deco tool. And it's really interesting. Um, and I can, and what you can do here is it draw different little things. Um, okay, like there's a flower brush. Hang on, the current road is locked. Okay, no. Okay, so I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to call this Buildings. Okay, and hang on. Let's see. Go back to my deco tool, and I, it's the, the flower brush. Wee, isn't that pretty? La la la. I can make pretty flowers. <laughs> I am an artist, and I can paint quickly. Okay, undo. Um, I'm going to go to the building brush, and from here, I'm just going to make some buildings. Um, and you know, I just click, and it's really easy. Really easy. And I can just throw up some buildings. Quite easy. Okay. I'm just going to cover that up because it... There we go. Okay. 
I'm gonna scroll over here add a few more all right now I'm gonna go back to my um selection tool and I don't like all these antenna on top of the buildings the tall ones they work and I'm just clicking on them and hitting delete actually that one looks nice uh, get rid of that one delete 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 click delete click delete um, yeah, I don't like it there. Okay, delete. Okay, so now we have a little city here. Um, but the problem now, okay, so you can see all these layers are locked. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm hitting spacebar command and option to get the negative and spacebar command to get the positive. Okay, so I'm just going to select over there. And again, these roads are locked. I mean, these um, layers are locked, so I don't have anything to worry about. So I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to just right click, convert to symbol. And I am going to make this a I'm gonna make this a graphic symbol again I'm so let's call these buildings all right I'm gonna delete those okay um, because I mean there's other ways you can work and normally I don't actually do it this way but I think it's clearer the way I'm putting symbols inside of movie clips working this way but there's what you know normally I'll just make an object a movie clip and then I'll make I'll double click to go inside and I'll make it a symbol once again but this way it's clear what I'm I'm doing so now I'm gonna go over here my library I'm gonna make new symbol I'm gonna make that a movie clip bill buildings underscore MC for movie clip it, oh dang it that was a graphic symbol um, so but that's easy to fix. I can just go over here and there's this little I right here, properties. I hit I and I can just click there and change that to a movie clip. Hit OK. Alright, so from here I can take my buildings, you can see here in the library, and I can just drag them right into that movie clip. Okay? Um, I'm just going to label this just just for kicks. Just because I, 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 most of the time it this won't make a difference, but I just like to be in the habit of naming things because once things start getting complicated, those names can save you. Or if someone else, you pass this along and if someone else is working on the project, it can save them a lot of hassle. Okay. Mm. Okay, so here's my main layer, and that's called buildings. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my building MC, my bo building movie clip, and drag it out onto the desktop. Okay. There we go. All right, now I'm going to hit return. Nothing happens. I mean, well, the buildings aren't moving. I want those to scroll by. So I'm going to double click. I'm going inside. I'm going to click on there. <coughs> click it on my scrub bar. And I'm going to just hit F5. Again, not F and 5, the key, actual key F5. And I'm just going to, actually, I'm just going to hold it. Add some frames. Uh, I want this to go kind of slow, so I'm going to take it up to 60. Okay? And this is already a symbol. So if I click, you can see it's a graphic symbol. I'm going to right click create motion tween okay so I'm gonna start I actually I want this to start off the screen so while that's there I'm gonna just move that off okay and then I'm gonna move this over here and then I'm gonna take these buildings and I'm gonna move them off the screen completely and the reason I want them to go all the way off the screen is because if they don't go all the way off the screen there will be a jump it will hit the end of the loop and it'll just vanish and it'll start again so if they're off the screen they re-emerge okay so let's test this out whoa that those buildings <laughs> those buildings are flying by I think we'd be in a jet plane if they were going that fast I need to slow these down um okay so right here let me make sure I got this right okay buildings okay they're on the main layer okay so I need to slow them down so I need to add a lot of keyframes if one way I can just add click here and I can add five and it adds one frame at a time or I can click outside and drag and however many frames this is 20 30 frames I hit F5 and as you can see it's adding 20 30 frames at a time all right let's see that's probably too slow that slowed it down boy all right let's try that okay that's looking a lot better I probably have this going a lot slower than it needs to be. I mean, a lot longer than it needs to be, but it, the point gets gets across. So actually, those, I'm going to go back to the main scene one. I'm going to drag that down to the bottom so it's behind everything. Now let's see what it looks like. 
Okay. And again, you know, if you were on the road and you're driving by, the things that are up close are going to be zipping by and the things in the distance are going to be moving a lot slower. Okay, so I'm going to go to the other movie that I had going here and I'm going to just copy this car here. Um, I'm going to move back to scene one. I'm going to copy this car. Copy. Whoops, I didn't mean to cut that. I meant to copy it. Go back to here. I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to call this car and I'm going to paste it here all right and you can see it appeared right here in my um, in my uh, layers I mean in my library okay now I'm gonna go back to that and I want this sky I'm gonna hit actually it's pasted inside I'm gonna hit copy and I'm gonna go back to here and I'm going to make a new layer I'm gonna call that sky <laughs> and I want that all the way in the back I'm gonna hit paste all right, that should do it. Um, I'm going to hit the free transform tool. Scale this down a little bit. Okay. And that should do. Oops, okay. I went inside of the clip. Okay, so now I'm back on the main timeline. Our car should be on the top. And I'm going to drop it. And I'm not going to go into all the things that I did to, to build the... the um, the car but I put a little shadow and this is a movie clip and inside this movie clip I jittered the car up and down a little bit to make it you know just to add a little extra motion alright so I'm gonna go back to scene one I'm gonna hit save and make sure you save often because if the power goes out or the the, the software just screws up you can cause it can cause problems so I just hit command return and there you go one one quick point I'd like to make about this is if I hit return, hang on, let's see. Okay, actually, see, I'm in a movie clip, and if I hit return, nothing's going to happen. See, that's the dis one disadvantage about using movie clips is you can't really see what's happening. You know, right here, I can't scroll across and see the movie. I'll have to actually go into, into the movie clips to scroll individually. So that's one disadvantage. There are some times that you actually want to bring all of this stuff out on the timeline, but this isn't one of them. But sometimes you want to bring everything out on the timeline and work so they, um, you know, so you can see how things are being built out. But this is very simple. So putting everything in the movie clips just makes life a lot easier. So again, I'm just going to hit return and that's the finish clip. Electric car, da 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 da, electric car. Oh boy, I, I apologize for that.